finally you bought the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. After seeing it for some time, you decided what the first time happened. Let's travel it. After trying to solve it for some time, this thing happened. What's up guys, Andrew here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a 3x3. I've been getting few requests for showing it how to solve it. So let's do it today. So let's start with the basics. I am assuming you know nothing about this cube except that it has 6 sides and 6 colors. I am going to teach you an in-depth tutorial of this right now. It may be long but you need to be calm and patient to learn this. It's not a thing that you can just yeah I learned it. No, it's not working like that. So let's start with the basics. You might be familiar with the right hand side and the left hand side up and down, bottom and front. So that's the only thing that follows in this cube notations. So before starting everything, I am going to start with the Rubik's cube notations. So like this is the right side of the cube, this is the left side, this is the up, bottom, back, front. You must be also familiar with the clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. So let's go. If you move the right side like this, clockwise, right side clockwise, so this is known as capital R. You must be seeing it in all the notations in all the videos. So that R means a capital R means a uh, clockwise direction R. So this is R and you might be also seeing a R and a small dash. That means R prime. I used to call it R prime, I don't know about others. R prime means anti-clockwise R. Like you can see like this clockwise anti-clockwise. So R prime means anti-clockwise and R means clockwise. So that's all the rules that I want to tell you. So this is known as R, R prime, L, L prime, U, U prime. B, B prime, F, F prime. You see the all the letters without any dash are known as clockwise, and if they are having dash, that means they are anti-clockwise. So that's all the rules I want to tell. Yeah, and another one. This is D, D prime. So now let's start with the tutorial. Now you know the basic notations another thing I want you to know is it consists of edges and corners the corners cannot replace the edges and edges cannot replace the corners so they are a fixed amount of edges and fixed amount of corners you can't replace each other and they are also fixed centers this is known as the center you see the white will always be behind the yellow it cannot be white behind the green or blue it would be always behind the yellow green would be always behind the blue and red would be always behind the orange so this is a some kind of a common sense you will see it afterward you learn it so now let's get into the tutorial so guys this is how a scrambled cube look like you have so many scrambled pieces here and there so basically the first step of solving a Rubik's cube is to make a plus or you can say cross sign on the top and the cross should be made like that if you have white on the top and red over here in front of you so the piece coming over here should be white and red like let us find the first cross pieces I have cross piece over here white red white blue I want you to select all the white pieces white red white blue white orange and white green so there are four edges now what I want is basically I want to put this white red piece over here so that it corresponds with its colors like white wants to come here and red wants to come here 
so it should be white and red so how I will do it is basically I am going to move this full piece down so now I can move it without disturbing anything else I am going to align it with its color like red and white and now I will do F2 so now you see there is a white over here and red over here so the colors corresponds with each other forming a white red piece now let's find the other pieces I see here is white and here is blue so I want a white and blue white and blue piece to fit so let me just find a white and blue piece I see it's over here now if I do the same thing match with its color and do like that it would be flipped so that's wrong we want it correct so what I will do is I will not do a R2 I will instead only do R and then do U and then do F prime and do U prime basically now I do it so what's the problem is it I want to correspond it with all the colors so I need to do a U prime at the end so that white red over here white blue over here now let's find the other piece I see white and, green, white and green piece will come here and it's already in its correct position so I will just do a R now I have three pieces oriented nicely and this last white and orange I put it like that and do like that so what I see is I have got all my cross colors done forget about the corners don't care about them now only focus on the edges I have white blue correct oriented white and orange correct oriented white and green correct oriented white and red all ready to get started after doing all of this I want you to practice it few times before moving up you can rewind the video and see it again if you didn't understand now second step of this is to put the corners in their correct orientations now what I will do is find the corners here in the D layers all the white corners I will first find them I have a white corner over here a white corner over here a white corner over here and a white corner over here so what I want to do is I want to put them at the correct orientations like what I see is I have white red blue color over here. white red blue so the corner coming over, over here would be white red blue like that you have to see like I have white blue orange so white orange uh, white blue orange will come here so like here white red blue will come so I want to find the white red blue piece so here it is so what I will do is I will match it with the side color like that now it's matching with the blue color now I will just I can't just put it like that so the cross will get disturbed I don't want that I want to solve this thing so what I will do is I will instead move it to the different color the other color on the bottom bring it down so it makes a slot for us put it in the correct place like that and move it up I hope you understand that I have three more edges to do so you will understand it more nicely now let's find the other one I see white green red over here now I must find the place where it will go I have white over here green over here and red over here so I will just put match it with the color move aside move, move it to the color on the bottom move it down put it in the correct place and move it up so we have two corners correctly oriented white green red and white red blue now let's move to the others I see it's also in a right position so it's in the correct position of orange so I will just match it with the green like that open the space put it over here and move it down right now I have this edge like that so I will just move it down and bring it in the bottom layer now I have shown you two type of case the third case is when the white is on the bottom like you see if I try to do it it can't happen so basically what I want you to do is I want the orientation of this to be changed I want to white I want white over here or over here so the simple thing is of doing is I will just do F prime keeping it on the left F prime D F so you can now see the difference 
the white is now on the side match it with the color i see orange on the bottom move it to the opposite color open the slot and move it in so now guys you have finally done the first two layers this is one of the most easiest steps but sometimes people find it very hard because they doesn't understand it nicely i have taught the best method i can now let's move to the others so after completing the upper layer your cube might be looking like this now let's move to the third step in this thing the third step is to complete the second layer now what i will find is the pieces edge pieces on the bottom layer which are not having a yellow color like this one is having a yellow so i don't want this this is yellow and orange i don't want this this is what i want i want red and blue so what i will do is i will hold the cube like this and turn it upside down like that so the white is on the bottom now i see that this edge don't have a yellow color in it so what i will do is i will just match it with this red color like that and i see that this one needs to go over here because blue and red will come in blue and red place so this wants to go here so if you want to move it from top to left so the algorithm goes like this i will have it on the top of the screen just follow it and you will get it very very easy so let's do it you will do u prime l prime u prime l u f u f prime so that's the point i want to tell you that the edge is now in place now let's find the other edge pieces i see this orange and blue is not having a yellow piece in it so i will just move it to the correct spot matching it with the color i have the same case i will just do the same algorithm just i told before i will do u prime l prime u prime l u f u f prime so now we have two edges in the correct positions let's find the other one like green and orange i will just match it with the green color now i see that this needs to go over here so now the algorithm change it's just opposite of that but i will still write it on the top over here so you can follow so the algorithm goes like this u r u r prime u prime f prime u prime now i am just left with the one of these It's normal cases as i told green and red green and red so i will just do the algorithm just set from top to left one u prime l prime u prime l u f u f prime so guys we have done the top two layers and sometimes you might get a uh, case where the edges edges flipped on its correct position so what you have to do is do one of those algs and put it on the top and just do it again and orient it nicely you will get it quite comfortably when you do it on your own but you need to do a practice in it let's get to the top layer so after completing the two layers your cube might be looking like this fully to two layers are done now let's get to the last layer this is the place which is bit tricky in this cube so there are three type of cases which you can find on the top either there would be a dot only a dot nothing else either a line with some two dots don't care or just care about a line or a l shape like this so if you get a l shape do a following algorithm that i am going to tell you it would be top over here so let's do it what i want you to do is basically get a cross on the top 
after you get a cross on the top the cube solve would be very very easy so for getting the cross on the top you have to do this x f r u r prime u prime f prime so i have come from l case to this bar case now i will put do a l of the bar case that's the same as this one f r u r prime u prime f prime so guys we have done the top cross now if you get a dot just do this l sony you will get from one case to the another and finally you will reach here there could be many cases of the cross but don't be fair about each will having its own else no no it's not like that you just need to do one l for each of them now i have finally got a cross over here if you see a cross like this which having two edges on the top do this l that i am telling you r u r prime u r u to r prime so it also it is also a cross but is the different version of it i will just do it again r u r prime u r u to r prime so guys something you might also find this a only cross so what you will do is hold it like that that the two chameleon eyes like that the yellow or your yellow or is facing towards you and do the same as that i told you before so now at the end of all this you will find this fish the fish is a direct entry to your top layer so this fish looks like this that uh, you have a cross and a one yellow edge over here the fish is looking at the bottom left and basically what you need to do is this elk again but you need to keep the fish on the bottom left sometimes you might find the case like the yellow on the front is on the right side or in the front side so if it's on the right side do the same elk in the same position so it will bring this right side one on the front side so it's already in the front like in my case so i will just do the elk that i have told you before and let's do it r u r prime u r u to r prime so after completing the top two layers basically top two layers and the top yellow you will see the cube might be looking like this or something different just don't care about it just do what i am telling don't care about the edges now what we want is we want same color corners everywhere like i have two same color red in front of me i want the same for the green same for the blue and same for the orange i want double double each so for doing that there is one simple lag there must be a one double color uh, corner every time except the two cases that i will tell you after doing this so what i want you to do is move this two colors at the back and do the l which i am telling you and always whenever you find two corner just move it on the back side and the following l you need to do r prime f r prime b2 r f prime r prime b2 r so guys what it makes is you have all the corners oriented now so now i will just teach you another algorithm and that will solve your cube but before teaching you that i am going to show you a case when there is no corners anywhere so guys now i will teach you the elk for the it's basically the same elk but when you have no corners oriented orange red blue green orange red blue green there are no same colors okay guys like no red red no orange or nothing so what i will do is the same as that i have told you before i will do r prime f r prime 
b2 r f prime r prime b2 r2 so what you will do it you will get the two same corners now it will you will reach at the same place like before you will just put it on the back side and do the so after doing all the steps your cube might be looking like this only i just are left so i am going to teach you only one elk for this and the cube must get finished or you might need to do it two or three times maximum and the cube will get finished eventually so what you will have a one full colors done just hold it at the back side and do the elk which i am telling on the top r u prime r u r u r u prime r prime u prime r2 so after completing the top layer the cube must be looking like this so now i will teach you one else that would be shown on the top that will move your edges pieces from counter clockwise direction but before that you must now know how you need to hold this you must have a full color done just hold it at the back match the corners with their main colors and do the elk that i am telling you it will move your this orange white to the red and white place and the white and green to the white and orange place and white and red to the white and green place so let's do it r u prime r u r u r u prime r prime u prime r so what it does is now it sets up your case for an, if you do this elk again your cube will get finished eventually because this white and red will also do a counter clockwise with the another elk with this elk only basically so it will go to the right place it will go to the right place and it will go to the right place so let's do it r u prime r u r u r u prime r prime u prime r2 guys cube is finished but i want to teach you two more cases of edges that will come up eventually this is one of them when the edges needs to go over here and this edge wants to go here this and this so i what i will do is the same as this is the another case that you might encounter over here there are the edges wants to go like that this wants to go there and this wants to go there and this wants to go there and this wants to go there So for this one, do the same as that I have told you before. Let's do it. So guys, we have finally completed the full Rubik's cube. Yay! Tell me in the comment section if you have any problem. I will answer them surely. And if many of you have the problem, I will even make a private video for that. Each step. Thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe if you like the tutorial yeah see you later bye bye